What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace and I cover all things reality television and pop culture. So Married at First Sight has a very big spoiler out already that I'm disappointed that I had to see. I was on Twitter the other day and um, a blog that I follow just tweeted out the spoiler without saying, hey, Spoiler alert, blah, blah, blah. Nope, they just tweeted out this spoiler and ruined the season for me, but that's okay. Um, I had tweeted my frustration about it and apparently a lot of you guys like hearing about spoilers. So I got in a lot of replies and I obviously don't wanna tweet it out loud and accidentally ruin anybody else's experience with the show. So this is a video where I'm gonna reveal a spoiler from this season of Married at First Sight. Married at First Sight NOLA. Again, this is a spoiler video. If you don't want a spoiler, now's your chance to click away, save your innocence, just finish the rest of the season. I would do that if I had the opportunity to, um, but yeah, here goes. I'm gonna say the spoiler in five seconds, four seconds, three, two, what? spoiler, spoiler alert. Okay, the spoiler is that a couple in particular decides to split up on decision day. Now, can you guess who that couple is? Um, listen, it, it was pretty obvious from the start that's something I have to admit, at least it wasn't one of the holy grail couples that decided to split up, thankfully. You know, as far as I know anyway. Um, it is Brett and Olivia, you guys. Yeah, I know that a lot of us already knew that Brett was not about that life uh, when we saw his behavior at the bachelor party. He was flirting with let every single woman he laid eyes on and women he didn't even lay eyes on. Remember, he was asking Henry if he had a sister. Is that because he thinks Henry is particularly attractive? I don't know. But it turns out that the two of them well, I don't know if it's just the one or the two actually, but they don't make it past decision day according to this blog that spoiled the entire experience for me, uh, SoapDirt.com, who I usually love and who is usually really good about spoiler alerts, but this time they dropped the ball and just put the ending in the title. So they said that they have a source who saw Brett out and about and he was with another woman. He was not wearing his ring and the woman did not appear to be Olivia. My heart breaks because even though I knew that Brett wasn't gonna be the greatest husband up front, I started to kind of regret the way that I quickly judged him because in the subsequent episodes, he did turn out to be quite great towards Olivia. Like as far as we know so far, he has not treated her poorly. He has respected her. He's been very open about his past. He, he was even empathetic to me because he talked, he was even sympathetic to me, sorry, because he talked about how he was cheated on not once, but twice by his fiance, the love of his life. And you know, that's hard. That's heartbreaking to hear that that happened to him. And it's great that he put himself out there and tried to get married despite all of it. Like he seemed to be someone who genuinely wanted to be in love and to have a family. He was the one who was pushing for a family, not Olivia as well. So I started to say, you know what, Grace, I know that he didn't act the greatest at the bachelor party, but maybe it was just nerves. Like he seems to be treating her quite well right now. Well, come to find out it wasn't well enough because they do not ultimately end up staying married, allegedly anyway. Um, as for Olivia, she seemed like one of the sweetest girls of all time, the sweetest girls in her season particularly as well. And it's just sad to see something like this not work out for her. Like I wish they would have put her with someone who genuinely wanted a single loving connection, who was gonna put in all the effort and time required to see it through because she 100% seems to be that type of a woman. And I do believe that the experts could have paired her up with someone exponentially better than Brett, yet here we are. Maybe I'm gonna have to eat my words later and it turns out that she was the problem and not him. Listen, stranger things have happened, but for now, I think it's safe to assume that Brett was the problem and the reason why they could not stay married. And it's not surprising to me to hear that he already allegedly has another woman in tow because he revealed in episode three, I believe it was, or four, on the honeymoon that he does not know how to stay single and enjoy his own company. He is constantly in a relationship of some sort. It's like, dude, you just got divorced. You were in the middle of a pandemic. Do you really, really need to have a new girlfriend right now? 
maybe it's time for you to get some professional help to see why it is that you are so scared of your own company. I mean, seriously, dude. Ugh. Guys, what do you think about the news that it appears as though Brett and Olivia have gotten a divorce or they're going to be filing for divorce when this season finishes airing anyway? They're not allowed to ahead of airing. Make sure to let me know. And I hope I didn't spoil it for you. I really tried. I stayed a whole minute before I spilled all the news. So don't tell me I ruined your experience. I really tried not to. This was exclusively for people who were specifically searching out spoilers. Guys, make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.